In today's video, we're going to be going through the Vim Peekaboo plugin uh, by uh, Jun Gan. Uh, uh, it's a very simple plugin. So essentially, uh, just before you select a register, so if I hit, uh, I need to actually, I always forget. So just before you select a register, so if you hit like double quotes, it brings up a window to the right there. And it waits for you to select a register. So let's say I select, uh, yeah, register dot and I hit P, I will paste. So it's worth noting that uh, this plugin doesn't actually add any new mappings or anything like that by default in Vim. Uh, if you hit, uh, like, uh, if I just yank something into register A, so yank in a, uh, A, yank in a word. A, yank in a word, okay, if I yank something into a register and uh, I hit double quotes and uh, you'll see at the bottom here, uh, over here, by, over here, it says in register A, it contains the word uh, there, if I hit A and then P, it will just paste what's in register A. So by default, this is already in Vim. Uh, this plugin just adds the, the visual window over there for us. So if I do hit double quotes, uh, we can look at everything here. Uh, there's a special section for the special registers. So um, I know star and plus are for, like, they interact with the system clipboard in some way, depending on the operating system. I believe this is just the default register. And I'm not 100% sure, yeah. And then we have the read-only registers, which I know dot is just, it repeats the last action you didn't vim, or like the last edit, yeah, the last edit you didn't vim. Can't remember 100%, but uh, the, this is search, this is just literally search. Can't remember 100% what these, oh, this is actually your, what your current file name is, I think, I believe. Yeah, it is, yeah, it is, and this I can't remember. And then these are your numbered registers, and then your named ones, which are the alphabet, uh, alphabetic uh, letters. Uh, if I... So you can do it with um, double quotes just before selecting a register to, I don't know, if you want to paste or whatever you want to do. Or you can do it just before you, you play a macro. So let's say in A, uh, well, let's do register 1. I do Q1 to start recording. So you see at the bottom here I'm recording. And let's just uh, do basic movements like go to end of line, go to beginning of line, go down two lines. And then end the recording. So in uh, register one, we should have that macro recorded. So if I hit uh, the at symbol, we shall see here in register one that my macro is recorded dollar sign zero JJ. Um, just note uh, my registers had stuff earlier on. Uh, these are actually new lines, not empty. So it does look a bit messy here. Okay, so uh, as you saw, I pressed the at symbol, so it's still waiting for me to select something to, to play from a register. So if I select one, it, it plays that macro, but our macro doesn't actually do any edits. It's just, it's moving around. So if I just hit like, I don't know, uh, four at one, it moves all the way down. Uh, so yeah, it works with, and since the registers don't, change you know between ads or you know double quotes that the, the registers contain what they contain you can peek at the registers by either pressing at or the double quotes and you'll see essentially the the same thing it's just that with the the macro it, it doesn't show your uh your the, the other read only um the other read only registers as a as opposed to quotes so just keep that in mind and then the final way, as far as I know, to see the registers is in insert mode. If if you don't know about uh, control R in insert mode, basically if you hit control R, uh, it will wait for you to uh, pick a register name for it to insert text from. So if I say A, it, it, it pasted whatever was in register A, and I can keep doing this. So let's say I pick... Um, register the the percent register to paste the file name uh, you can do that again uh, the control r is a default firm 
it's in vanilla vim it's also worth noting in normal vim if you just type in the command registers uh, you don't need the plugin installed you can see the what is in the register contents in this uh, little terminal window uh, okay and that's about it for this plugin it's not a big plugin so uh, we'll go through each of the settings here which th there's not many uh, so the first one here is you can set a delay opening for the window so let's say you set it to a thousand milliseconds which is one second and I come here and just um, reload this buffer now if I do double quotes it'll wait a second before showing the thing so this is if you don't always want to see it but you know sometimes if you wait longer than a second you know you've forgotten which register something's in so yeah you can do that uh, you can uh, choose to have the compact display as well so if I uh, just reload this if uh, with the compact dis display it doesn't show these sections of special uh, read only numbered and named it just shows them as is uh, then we also have uh, what is this oh yeah prefixes so you can choose to have uh, uh, prefixes so that it doesn't only show just uh, well it's easier to, sh to show them uh, to to say I think I might actually have to uh, to reload yeah so I have to uh, quit and then open again uh, yeah and then sorry it's just hard to see with uh, with the stupid screen key on so if I go to my notes and we are back to where we are now if I want to see the window if I do as normal with a uh, let's say uh, I'm just waiting yeah actually huh interesting I didn't think prefix for mapping prefix for insert mode I did save this, didn't I? I hope I did. So, uh, let's try that again. So now if I hit, uh, say, double quotes, yeah, it doesn't automatically show the, the window over there. But if I want to see the window, since I, over here, I gave it a prefix mapping of leader, now I just have to hit leader, then quotation, so leader, then quotation, before it shows the window, and then I can select whatever I want to uh, paste over there. And that works the same with uh, the playing macros. If I just hit the at symbol, it does nothing. Uh, I have to do leader at before it shows the window. So that's if you only want to see it uh, uh, with a, a leader mapping or on the prefix mapping and then uh, there's a prefix for the insert mode as well so the the previous thing obviously uh, in insert your you're doing control R so before I re reload the buffer yeah, if I hit control R it still shows the thing by default so again for, for the mappings yeah, you just have to exit okay so for the insert mode now if i hit uh, control r it won't show the thing it'll just uh, show a little qu quote there saying it's waiting for a register and i just you know can paste but if i want to see the window to the right there i have to do control x control r then i can see the the window over there uh, because i set my i set the mapping here to control x he just uh, the guy give it gives examples and that's what i'm using here then the last one here is um, uh, the command that creates the actual window. So yeah, the command here is vert uh, bo 30 new. That actually just controls the size and position of the window. So if I did something like um, just uh, bo 30 new, it would, uh, I think I can just reload like this. If I do that and then I, uh, well, I have to, 
I still have the prefix mappings. So if I do prefix that, it opens from the bottom. So it doesn't look like it's opening from the bottom. Uh, let me actually change that to 10. And now it should make a bit more sense. Uh, if I do this and then leader quotation, okay, 10 from the bottom. If you see at the bottom, uh, it, it, it shows the, the window here at the bottom. Uh, you can put it at the bottom, the right, the left, or the top. Uh, if you want to find out how to do those commands, I'd say just I do hvert uh, in the docs, and in the docs it shows you all the different possible commands. There's this vert, uh, left above, uh, right below, top left, and a bo for bot right. Um, not really going to go through those today. It's a it's it's a different topic. So yeah. And that's about it for this plugin. Um, I will see you in the next video. Cheers.